This is an x-ray of my hands. I had a trigger finger and I had to get surgery for this. So the part of the hand that's holding cello bow is not the tip, this, this bone right here. The part of the hand that holds the cello bow is going to be this, what is this bone called? So those three parts are the ones that are holding the bow, yeah? But the thumb, the thumb, the last phallus, finger bone, the last finger bone is the one that's holding the bow. So, and this right here is generally just hanging out, kind of doing its thing. It's, it's there for stability, but it, as you see, it goes off. So when you start to understand that the bow hold, yeah, the bow hold is not going to be with the tips of your fingers, but with this second bone in there, you're really going to start to understand and be more comfortable with it. But when you place it onto the string, all of this right here is going to relax. All that's going to relax. You're still going to engage, but all that's going to relax. So as long as you are understanding that the fingers, these second finger bones, because <laughs> I can't say that word right now, are, hold, are holding the, that's the one that you're engaging. And it's not often in life that somebody asks you, I want you to pick this thing up, but not use the tip of your fingers. I want you to use this second finger bone in there for these two things. So that's probably something new to you.